All right, so the frame is about ready for to be glued together. I'm gonna glue mine together before I do the gussets and the ribs. Um, I know another gentleman that did that. I don't see a problem with it, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I just think that gluing this whole thing together with these gussets and the top gussets could be pretty daunting at one time. And if things go awry, you've got a lot of glue joints that you just cannot back away from and fix. A note about this piece here, the base of the vertical stab. The plans call to make this piece similar to the leading edge and the trailing edge, and basically just making them a T, cutting in some rabbits. I don't see any reason why that needs to be done. Um, maybe for ease of construction, I don't know. Um, I don't certainly don't see it. Let me get that in there. Uh, that way so these gussets are supposed a lot I've seen some builders where they rabbit out this whole bottom piece and then they put the the gusset just down to the rabbit to let the lip there that's not proper per the plans the gusset is supposed to go flush to the base like this that's the way they're drawn they're drawn to go to this here, but they're they're supposed to go flush with the base. That being said, I see no reason why at all to cut this out. None. Now the, there's a taper to this, and that's fine. And that'll be taken out later once this is all clamped down and glued. And glued. And then this piece here, and this piece here, we'll just we'll just take care of that taper later on with either a sander or a plane coming down to the leading edge. So that's just my, it's, it's minor I think. I just don't think that cut is necessary here and here. My two cents. All right, so I'm gonna make a gusset for this top piece here. That's gonna go from the inside of this leading edge here to the inside of the trailing edge there. And aircraft spruce does not give you that much to work with. You literally have no room for error to make the gussets. Uh, you just don't. I, I should have bought two pieces. So uh, that being said, here, here's how I'm going about it. I take some wax paper because it's, it's see-through. And then I just take a marker and I marked uh, the outline of my gusset on the wax paper with a black felt tip pen. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut that out to a rough shape, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm gonna transpose that with a pencil onto my uh, ply there, plywood. And then I'm gonna take that over to the bandsaw and cut it out to a rough shape and then just f keep fine tuning it so it fits in proper. All right, so I cut the wax paper template out that I made, and then I trans I just traced around it with a pencil. And we're gonna take this over to the bandsaw. I'm gonna stay outside the line and make sure that I have excess material to work with uh, when shaping it on, once it's on the piece.
particle stab pre-clamped up. Um, there's no epoxy mixed yet. I put some blocks in uh, here permanently. This block floats. It helps pull this filler piece up, further tightening it between these two pieces, the leading edge and the trailing edge. And then this clamp prevents this from going anywhere as well. The blocks hold the, everything in place, and then the clamps are going to put enough pressure on the frame as the glue sets. Um, this clamp here runs across. It's held against this block, so as this piece pushes on this one, it puts pressure on this joint here and this joint here. Um, this piece here, all I did was put a block there, so I had something to clamp to in line with this. And this pulls it nice against the frame that way, which then the piece would try to move down this way and puts enough pressure here as the glue sets on this joint. And then that's going to get a gusset on top of it anyway, which provides most of the strength. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to glue the frame, just the joints. Get a basic glue set up in the joints, let it sit. Uh, sand anything down that I need to, and then I'm going to pop it from the frame probably. Maybe not, I'm not sure. And then I will uh, in clamp down the gussets for the final um, install of the gussets. Then I'll have to flip it over and put the gussets on the other side. And then lastly, the ribs will go on. Well, that looks about right. 